Good morning, TL Travelers, and welcome to, or welcome back to the TL Travel YouTube channel. This morning, we are waking up just outside of Halifax, Nova Scotia, and we're actually leaving Nova Scotia today, but do not fear, as promised, there is more East Coast content coming your way. We're actually making our way out to Prince Edward Island to check out a new music festival that is coming to Canada this year, Somo Festival. Um, Mumford & Sons is a headliner, Maggie Rogers is a headliner, bucket list shows for me, so I'm so excited to check that out. If that's something that interests you or you just wanna come along and enjoy some of those East Coast views, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and join us on our road trip. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. So let's just get this road trip started. So the drive from Halifax, Nova Scotia to Cavendish PEI takes just about four hours without stops, but our group actually decided to rent an Airbnb about 20 minutes from Cavendish in the Kensington area for a peaceful retreat from the festival madness at the end of each day. So we've made it to this super cute spot. Um, however, whew, bug in the face, uh, phone died and uh, we don't have the Airbnb <laughs> code. So we are currently just chilling outside in sunshine, uh, waiting for the phone to charge so that we can get the login code to go inside and, you know, live life. <laughs> Yeah. What? No. Yay. Okay, so we have made it to our spot here about 20 minutes outside of Cavendish in PEI and it is so cute. This Airbnb is absolutely adorable. I'm not gonna like give you the whole tour because we do have to head out for festival day one. This is the view from the room that I'm sharing with my sister Taylor, but there's six other girls here and lots of bedrooms, so no shortage of space. Honestly, I'm just so stoked to like be out here enjoying a nice girls weekend away, festival vibes, all of that fun stuff. So I'm really looking forward to taking you around. We're gonna head over to the festival grounds now. I'm gonna get out of these car clothes and then we're gonna head over to the festival grounds and uh, show you around. So yeah, let's just go do that. So the gates opened at noon, but we actually didn't arrive at the venue until 4 p.m. We purchased VIP tickets, which meant that we were able to enter the grounds here versus general admission, which had to enter back here. And we were also guaranteed to be fairly close to the main stage here, no matter what time we arrived, which was an amazing benefit to purchasing those tickets. The food truck area was located in general admission here, but VIP did have its own bar with shockingly short lines, and we were able to order food to VIP using a QR code and pick the food up when it was ready here. So we really were able to come and go from the show as we pleased without having to worry about the crowds. Our first show was Tegan and Sarah, who were so much fun to see and seemed to have so much fun up on stage. And then we also saw Lord Huron, who put on another great show. But the headliner for the night was Maggie Rogers, and she was absolutely amazing. Completely stole the show. I knew already that she had an amazing voice and was incredibly talented, but her stage presence at SOMO was next level, and she was easily my favorite performance of the night. Okay, so it is day two, festival day two. I'm sure you can tell my throat has had its better days. I was screaming last night. Um, Maggie Rogers was amazing. I have never seen anyone on stage with that kind of like presence and energy, especially as like a solo performer. Absolutely amazing. We had so much fun, um, but today is Mumford and Sons um, and I'm, just as excited. I cannot freaking wait to go. I, I'm feeling a little bit tired, <laughs> but um, I, I'm gonna make it. I know I'm gonna make it. So um, plan is just to get up, get ready, do all that fun stuff. And then I will show you guys a little bit around the festival grounds a little bit more. Um, perhaps we're gonna see a show at one of the side stages 
um, as well. So I should be able to like kind of show you around there a little bit or give you some idea of what that stage is like. Um, and then, yeah. And then, yeah, I guess I'll just give you guys like my full sort of like thoughts on the festival experience as a whole. Once it's over, I'm ha obviously having an amazing time, but maybe I won't jump the gun on a 10 out of 10 review just yet. Um, but yeah, all in all, we're just having like a blast and it's just so nice to like be out here in PEI with the girls and just like having such a great time. So um, yeah, Mumford and Sons, it's really what we're here for today, but Vance Joy is on and a few other artists that we're really excited to see. So yeah, wake up with me, come along with me, and let's go. On day two, we arrived a little bit earlier than day one for Charlotte Carden, who I've actually never heard of, but is quickly becoming another favorite of mine. I think that's honestly one of the nicer things about festival style shows is that you really get exposed to artists that you never would have heard otherwise. We spent most of our time at the main stage today and were able to retreat to the shade in the VIP area whenever we needed without missing out on whoever was playing on the main stage at the time. VIP also allowed us to avoid bathroom lines in GA with our own bathrooms located here. The only time that we really ventured out of VIP was to check out the culinary stage here and to see Wild Rivers at the Colliding Tide stage, which was here. But for the most part, we stuck to the VIP area as that's where the majority of the acts that we came for were playing. Vance Joy was another favorite both of the day two lineup, but also of Soma overall. And we had so much fun dancing and singing along, but the headliner that I flew all of this way for was of course, Mumford and Sons. Did they invite Maggie Rogers on stage with them and throw their initial set list to the wind due to an unexpected beach injury? Yes, they did. But was their set absolutely everything that I hoped it would be and more? Absolutely. All in all, I had such an amazing time at SOMO. The crowd seemed a lot more chill and just fun loving compared to other festivals that I've been to. And the security was amazing. The lineup was great. I really do hope that they choose to run the festival again and again each year. And I look forward to the next one.